Okay, real quick, I just kind of want to show you what you can do with those canes that we made yesterday. This is the leftover part, the very beginning where I cut off the extra pink and black parts, okay? So this is what was left over, just little pieces, and I just cut them in little um, sections, okay? So I don't have enough to fill up the whole thing, so I'm going to do some pink and some of the flower canes, but at the end it'll all be all flower canes. And this is just a pen. Um, unfortunately, I don't see these at the store anymore, these round stick big ones. This one's a generic Target pen, so it just says medium point, so you can find them at Target. But they're not as good as these round sticks. Um, you can only bake these for like five minutes or else they're going to warp, okay? So if you have round sticks, awesome. But if not, these cheap ones from Target, I think I've did a tutorial on them about a year ago, work really well. You just can only bake it for about five minutes, okay? So let me show you. And this is that extra cane that I told you um, I was going to leave because I want to use it for another craft instead of just nails. So it's still kind of thick. It's probably over a quarter inch in diameter. And all you do is you really want to chill it because you don't want it to warp too much. You can put it in the fridge. Is just get your little knife and cut little sections. You know, yeah, a sixteenth of an inch thick or whatever. And you're going to have all these little bits. And what I do is just then put them on the pen. And if you just give them a little push, they'll stick down until you're ready to uh, mold them. So I think this is going to be the last set that I can actually have the black and the pink along with the flower cane. So I'm just alternating flower cane, black and pink. So you don't have to just use these things for jewelry or for nails or whatever. Okay, so there's that. And there's going to be gaps in between. And what's going to happen is at the end we're going to roll this until all the little edges meet so it's not going to be an issue. So I'm going to keep putting uh, canes on here, okay? So I've got them all on there and it starts kind of going sideways and whatever. You know what's actually cute is if you stagger them if you put one here. But the thing is when I started with these, um, you couldn't really stagger them because then they're going to be next to each other. Like this pink one, if I moved it over, it's going to be next to the other pink one. So anyhow, so they're all on there. Um, I left the very top blank here. So there's nothing on there, but it's going to stretch a little bit when we start rolling it. And then we're going to take another piece off of our cane and put it right on the top, okay? So I'm going to put that to the side for right now. And it's a little bit, there's just a little lip here, not too much showing, but you don't want this to end up stretching out over it. So um, what we're going to do now is, obviously you see all those white spots, is just roll it. And you know I'm going to take off my rings. And I just put lotion on, which is probably a bad idea, but anyway. I'm just gently pushing the canes down and rolling it, okay? Basically, as you push, they're going to get closer and closer together, the the little um, discs that you made of flowers or whatever you want to call them. The different pieces. And as you can see, they're already kind of coming together. And they're going to get all squished and crazy looking. I don't care. It's just it's cuter than having a white pen. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. But you don't want to make it so big that the thing is... Um, is starting to stretch and then get real baggy around the pen because if you keep doing this you're going to start pushing the clay off of the pen you want to push it into the pen if that makes sense it starts making like a bag and then the pen is just kind of loose on the inside so you just push enough until they're together at least and you see what i said about this top part i left it kind of open and it, it's moving up as you can see it's kind of moving up into that area so that's what you want you want it to move down and then you can pay special attention to those parts when you get there at the end um, that it's completely covered up. I'm trying to make sure as I'm looking at it, as I'm rolling, that there are no little gaps. Like right here, there's a tiny space right there. It's open, um, maybe right there. So just as you're rolling it, kind of pay attention. You can use just your fingers if you need to at that point. It doesn't have to be perfect, obviously. It's your pen. You can do whatever you want with it, but just some things to look out for. And this is what's crazy. This pen is not graduated. It's the same size. Okay. Um, you know what I'm saying? As far as the width of it. But look how different it looks where I used pink rods and the flower rods to where I just used the flowers. It has a different look to it. I mean, it looks thinner on this side, but it's not. It's exactly the same width. So, anyway. Okay. So now what I'm saying is as we get to the ends that we want to pay special attention, I'm going to push this kind of down, back down on itself. And I'm going to get out a piece of cane, or the cane. Now I'm going to cut it a little bit thicker than I was cutting the other things. I mean, still about maybe an eighth of an inch thick. And I'm going to place it right on top. Okay, I'm going to kind of round it out a little bit. You see there? And let's just start kind of pushing it in. You can push it however you like. Actually, that's going to get stuck to my paper. <laughs> You're just going to push it down so that it's joining 
meeting up with the clay that you already have on there with the other cane pieces of cane there and you can smooth that out and it's really cool because that little black around it really just pops it you know it's on the tip and it's covered with black so I'm just gonna make sure that's nice and you can do whatever you like with it make it nice and rounded whatever as long as it's on there oh my son just turned on his um, dinosaur he has a dinosaur you can ride on it's this big huge monstrous thing but anyway um, and at the very tip you can see there's a little bit of white here so I'm gonna try to kind of run that into itself fix that up and this is the part where it's up to you um, I talked about this a little bit at the beginning if you want to cover this black part what you're gonna do is take the ink itself out I'm not gonna do it right now because it's really stuck in there you can take this whole tip out okay so then that's gone and this black piece will stay inside and you can cover the whole tip or you can leave it so that the tip is not covered this black part it's gonna be black anyway and we don't bake that you never bake the ink though okay you can bake that little black part but not the ink so I'm gonna try to put it up as close as I can and if you really want the black edges then what I suggest is to push the clay back in if you don't care you can come in and just trim off that excess okay you don't want it hanging over the plastic at all because um, it can get in the way of when you put your pen back together that'll be in the way and then it's gonna be a problem okay well you can file it down though I guess so after it's baked if it was an issue but it's better just not to have that problem to begin with okay I'm just kinda of playing with it so that's nice and flat make sure there's nothing in the way I'm just cleaning that up and now this is ready to bake at 275 because this is um, Fimo, I'm um, sorry, it's Sculpey clay. Sculpey bakes at 275. So I'm going to bake at 275 for about five minutes. Um, with these pens, I don't want to go any longer than that because they'll start melting. If you have these old school big pens, then you can totally melt, um, go for 10 minutes even. But um, I wouldn't recommend any longer than that. And it's really thin anyway, the clay that you're using. So if you know about Sculpey or Fimo, you only bake for like 10, 12 minutes per quarter inch of thickness. And this is not even a quarter. I mean, it's barely an eighth of an inch thick so five minutes and then we'll come back okay so I just finished baking it and there it is so um people I, I like to leave mine dry like this um you can take the gloss I'm sorry I've been making lots of crafts so my hands are all dry um let me grab it right quick there's my son you can use the Sculpey glaze and then just glaze it and just use a um brush and brush it on and then let it dry and it'll be shiny I like leaving mine dry looking like this so that's just my preference but um, you can do whatever you like and let me find the inner part of this I'm thinking it's this one is this one I've been using lots of different pens and yeah so it's that one so there's the inner part I just push it back in and there's your pen so I hope you like the tutorial and I'll have some pictures for you okay bye now